Okay, so what do we do in NetBank? What do we, our objective is, and we're constantly coaching and upskilling our staff to ensure that what we're saying today is a place that they get to. So if you walk into any of our branches, because we represent it throughout the branch network with small business staff, if you don't, and all our branches have got branch managers, if you don't, get the service that you, you aspire to or you believe that you deserve. We really impress on you to talk to the branch managers, talk to the small business staff, and there's line managers throughout the business. Until you're happy, please do not walk out of our, do not put the phone down or do not walk out of our branches without being satisfied that we've met your need. Okay, so what do we do? What do we endeavor to do? We look at your business and we put your business at the center. So we, what we've got to do, and all our small business staff have to do, is we need to understand what is your need. So we need to understand whether you're an existing business or you're looking to set up a business, what are your needs? In other words, what finance do you need? And we'll talk about short, medium, and long-term finance. What finance do you need if it's finance that you're looking for? What finance do you need? Because you, sometimes you may just need a check account or a product to transact because you may have the funding and you don't need NetBank's funding. So what we do is we look at how do we finance your business, how do you invest and protect your business, and how do you transact? So if you look, I know this circle may be a bit busy, but if you look at, I'm going to cover a couple of areas, how you finance your business, and I'll talk about that a little bit later, so I won't cover all the aspects that are on here. But we look at overdrafts, term loans, business loans, those are various ways of financing fixtures and fittings, motor vehicles, etc. Then on the transactional side, you may be a foreign importer or exporter. We've got uh, uh, specialists that deal in that aspect. We look at how do you want to transact a check account or a business enabler. We open business enablers for entrepreneurs that may have had previous credit history problems that do turnovers up to 150,000. So NetBank is also facilitating uh, entrepreneurs that have credit issues where we can give you a business enabler product so that you can at least get your business up and running. You can't get any funding, but at least you can transact. Then a critical area here is how do we invest and protect? And I know we're talking about how do we get capital, and now I'm talking about investing and protecting. There's a real key area where we find a lot of businesses fail because you've got one or two members, or even if you've got one member, and you are running this business, be it with two or three people, and be it your partner wants to emigrate, be it your partner wants out of the business because you now have conflict, be it that you die, because unfortunately that is inevitable in our lifetime, that all of us will die at some stage. And often we find businesses do not insure themselves. And it's not a punt here to try to get you insurance, but people don't take insurance. So they may be bringing 30, 40,000 to, to, to their household in order to pay their expenses. They pass on, and now the spouse, be it the male or female, has got no idea how to run the business. You don't have anyone internally that's family linked and that business goes under. Now all of a sudden your family doesn't have income of 40,000, that's gone. You've got a partner that no longer wants to be involved with you, they want out, you don't have an agreement in place into, in terms of what the value of the business is on an annual basis, or that partner does, that partner demands that his share is half a million rand, you can't afford to pay them, and the business can fold because of that as well. So it's really critical when you're running your businesses that you, the financial piece, how do you financially protect your business so that you look after that? So what's our philosophy? We believe we understand the unique challenges businesses face, and we do the traditional banking and also beyond. We'll talk on the beyond aspect a little bit later as well. What does NetBank offer in terms of beyond banking, stuff that is outside of, of banking? We've got a focused client-driven approach. Um, we look at the criteria that you're looking for, and we, we have got a huge focus on the area of startups and franchises. We've got representatives, like I mentioned earlier, throughout our branch network uh, that look after customers, um, and they're all available in, in the majority of our branches. Please, if you walk into a branch and there's not a small business representative, talk to the branch manager. There's two or three management tiers in the branches, one of them being the branch manager. Please talk to them and say, look, I need to talk about small business. Who can support me? Who can assist me? We've got a credit philosophy that's aligned to the various segments that I spoke to earlier. So we've got a startup segment, a prof professional segment, uh, we've got a franchise segment, which is combined with a startup, and we've got the established segment. So we've got credit people, because as you know, when you walk into branches nowadays, or, in, or any banks for that matter, and you say, I need 100,000 or I need 50,000, the person you're dealing with, even myself, can't give you that decision. We can say, potentially, it looks, like, it looks positive that we could help you, but we've got to put it up to the next level. So we've got various credit people that look after the various segments, and when they get startup applications and franchise applications, that is all they look at every day. So they get very experienced and competent at that aspect. 
They remain competent until we decline you. <laughs> I thought you'd enjoy that one. I thought you'd enjoy that one. Okay. But on that aspect, guys, when we decline you, we need to give you a proper reason why we've declined you. We can't just say the bank can't help you. I know you may not be happy that we're not helping you, but we need to give you the reasons why. And then on the service efficiency and excellence, uh, we're continually coaching and upskilling our people to give the correct service. We also have an uh, internal system where we're phoning customers that we've dealt with um, in the past month, where we phone them and we ask them various questions around how they experienced the service, how well did we treat them, with a number of questions, and we get feedback regularly. And that feedback assists us to identify what the gaps are in the service aspect.